Alright guys, so this video is about when you should take the GGS off the main crit path. Okay, so I've been drilling to you guys about um, keeping GGS on crit, but there are sometimes exceptions when you do have to move the GGS off that path. Okay, the first one is when it's forced. Okay, I'll go into more detail then soon. The second reason is when the main path is a bit idle um, and the, the, what's actually happening on it right now, it doesn't require as many people, so it's better for the GGS to be on another nearby path. Don't move it all the way to the other side of the map or anything like that. Just move it nearby to a path that's close and very active. And then the last reason is a large bonus path. Okay. The large bonus path is when it exists in the floor, but you just don't know which one it's going to be. Okay, you just don't know. And usually you won't know until you reach the end of the floor. So let's look at the forced path in a bit more detail. Alright, so rooms that force you to move GGS off the crit path and into a smaller or bonus path. Um, usually require more than one person to be in it. So usually it's five people that it requires. Um, and for example, um, in the puzzle rooms are the culprits for this. And one of the major culprits for that is the emotes room because you need all five people there, right? And you can see that see here that it requires five people to be on it if there are five people on the floor. Okay, so you can't keep GGS on the crit path, obviously, you need to move it to this area. So another room that's like this is the levers room. Okay, so let's find the levers room. <coughs> so this is the levers room. And you can see here that you'll need at least four people, um, and to be safe, five people, to do this room. Sometimes it can be done with three people, but you need a really good internet connection on, uh, on how to do, uh, on do, to do that. Um, but I will talk about how to do that in a future video. And the final room that requires five people is the portal maze. Okay, so let's have a look at the portal maze. And you can see here that you need five people on these plates for you to do the portals. Okay. Okay, now I want to talk about part two, which is idle or a idle path or the main path being a bit idle and not much to do. Alright, so now I want to talk about a situation where GGS is on a crit path, but the crit path is an idle room, okay? And there are few rooms that fulfill this criteria, and some are debatable, okay? But let me def talk about the ones that are definitely uh, very idle. Okay, in fact, let's go through all the puzzles here and talk about which ones are very, very idle rooms. So, barrels. Barrels takes maybe a minute to complete. Um, and you don't want the GGS to be in there with people just standing in the barrels doing nothing when it can be done by just one person. So, if there is a nearby GD, it's better to have GGS there than in a barrels room, even if barrels is on the main path. Okay. And the same goes for books, which can take maybe a minute or even a little bit more to complete. Okay, so barrels and books are like that. Um, colored ferrets, it, if you're very good at colored ferrets, you probably can have GGS in the room. But the problem with that is you need to drop the GGS in the room um, in a safe spot that, so that when people tell you to colored ferrets, they don't disturb you doing this puzzle. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then please visit... Uh, this website, which I've linked down below, um, and you'll you'll be able to figure out what I mean. Um, another pretty slow one is flowers, but usually it takes uh, about 30 seconds or less for you to do if you're really good. Um, now, magical construct is another one. Now. Whether you move the G GGS out of this room or not depends on the room itself, okay? And there are certain situations when you should move the GGS out of this room, and there are certain situations when you shouldn't, okay? 
Um, I won't talk about it in this video, but as I make more and more videos, and I'll go into my new details like that. Um, monolith is a rumor you don't want GGS to be because um, it again takes maybe 30 to 30 seconds to one minute to complete it, but you only need two or even one person's enough to get this room done if they're good enough. So you don't need four or five people at over here at Monolith with the GGS. So you can take GGS to a smaller bonus path. Okay, there's if if that bonus path is more active and has more rooms and a GD, for example. Okay, so that's all the um, rooms that I would probably take GGS off the crit path for because they're just too idle and you just don't want too many people to be standing there. It, there's um, no point in having so many people there. All right, so now I want to talk about the final reason for when you want to take GGS off the main grid path. Okay, so in this map you may not be able to see it, but you can just follow my mouse and I can tell you that the crit path was roughly following my mouse. Okay, from base and then that way as well to the boss. Okay, so that's the skeleton of the map. And then you have the flesh, which is the bonus path. But in this particular map, we have reached um, boss well before the map's done. Okay, so there is all everything else is obviously a bonus, right? If we've reached the boss. Okay, so where do you keep GGS on this instance? Right here. Okay, that's the active part. So that's where you keep it. And you just take it on the most promising path to the end. If it turns out that all of this gets done before this even gets started, then you move GGS to this spot because that's the most promising part. Okay, so this is quite typical. You actually in about 80% of the maps would take the GGS off the crit path on the largest bonus path that you can see. And usually this will be towards the end of the floor after you have found boss. Okay, okay, so this is a more subtle example where you haven't found boss. Okay, but I know that this path here is actually bonus. So some other path on the map, probably that or that or that or that, or even this maybe. One of them needs to get done, and also that one as well. So there's six different options. Okay. That one of them could be crit that's going to find, let us uh, find the boss, okay? But do you move GGS to these rooms? No, absolutely not. You keep it on the biggest path there is, okay? It's quite obvious that this path is not just going to dead end like that, while this one is going to curl, do that and curl around. Maps don't behave like that, okay? So this one is probably going to be the largest path. So that's why GGS should be kept over here in the bonus path towards the end of the floor, even though we haven't found boss and um, there are still a few crit parts that are still maybe quite active to do, but they're too small compared to this large bonus part. Okay, so that's why you want GGS here. So f uh, there are three reasons: um, forced, so emotes, portal runes, levers runes, etc. Idle crit or main path. So having a room that doesn't require as many people, so a monolith, um, books, uh, wines, barrels, and so on, I talked about it, and then a large bonus path. When that bonus path turns out to be a lot bigger than the small little crit paths that are left, or if you're found boss and then you only have the large bonus path to allow the GGS to be on. 